We call in the energy of the universe. This is such an amazing way of just kind of instantly balancing your energy. So, I just want you to feel nice and cozy, nice and relaxed. And just for the next little while, just let me care for you. Let me care for you. Before we get into our Reiki shower, I want to do some cleansing and I'm going to start with a couple of selenite wands. I have some selenite wands, selenite sticks, selenite towers and I just love this as a really gentle, soothing way. Cleansing your energy. When we do a Reiki shower, we are channeling universal light and allowing it to wash through your energy field, cleansing and purifying, balancing and aligning. So with the Reiki session, we can channel this energy through our palms, sending this really beautiful focused energetic healing into your physical form, into your energy body as well. And with the Reiki shower, it's definitely more of a kind of general wash of healing. But what that means is that it's just going to break through any blockages, kind of almost flushing out the energy. So, I just want you to really give over to this present moment. Let your day or your night just melt away. And then just be here with me right now. You and me. Just relaxing. There's nothing that you have to do. Nowhere you have to be. Just the two of us here together. Dedicated to your healing. And really allowing this energy from the day, any collected, blocked, or stuck energy to just be purified, cleansed, and cleared. just want you to melt into this present moment, sink into the here and now, just relaxing and giving over to this moment. One more time. Um, I 
did want to mention, if you are interested in learning Reiki from me, learning any of these healing techniques, or becoming a Reiki practitioner, I've decided to take on another group of students. It's going to be a small group. The entire group is going to be virtual. So it's all classes that are online. And then we'll be doing live sessions uh, together throughout the course. So that's beginning on March 8th for Reiki Level 1. And you'll get a Reiki certification. I said that kind of funny. Certificate, but certification. <laughs> And we'll have an attunement ceremony, which is really beautiful. And the students that I had in January, we've been working together and it's been incredible. It's just been such an amazing experience. I've absolutely loved it. And I've loved working with all of you. So yeah, if you're interested, it's not open all the time. So I'm just opening it again because I had such an amazing time with the Reiki level one when we did it in January. So if you've been interested in becoming a Reiki practitioner, maybe doing things a little bit different, being able to work from home, being able to work for yourself, work with energy healing and helping people, which is like, I'm so glad that I've done this. It's such an honor. So anyway, I wanted to mention that I know a few of you were confused about whether it was online or in person. So it's all virtual. So all of our friends from all around the world, we can connect in this way. It's really beautiful. So I'd love to have you. And I'll leave that link down below. March 8th. Okay. Beautiful. I'm going to cleanse your right palm here. And then I'm going to lean over you if you don't mind. And just cleanse your left palm. Thank you. Thank you. There. Good. Okay. Our little energetic vacuums. <laughs> this sort of essential oil or a mist blend and this is a sage essential oil I've been trying to I'm building an apothecary garden this year constructing developing and I've been trying to find seeds for white sage and I'm having a hard time finding those. I have cedar wood and things like that on the property, but I'd love to be able to make my own sage bundles and I want to find some sort of ethically sourced seeds. So if you have a suggestion, if any of you are gardeners, I would love to hear your suggestions for that. But this is a, um, a sage essential oil and frankincense. Very clearing, spiritually aligned, really nice. I will link my garden channel as well if you're interested in gardens. I'll link that down below. Right now it's a lot of like, I just uploaded like a winter garden tour. So it's been very snowy and things like that. But yeah, if you're interested in that kind of thing, I'll link that below. But this is really, really nice. And this, this scent is gorgeous. Yeah, it's, it's very subtle. It almost just feels like you're in a garden. I mean, it's got a very nice scent. And I know, I know a lot of you are gardeners. So this is a really pleasant blend. Jasper stone right here 
And the reason that I want to place this is because Kambaba is a very supportive stone. And it's wonderful for kind of supporting in times of transformation. So when we're doing these kinds of um, this beautiful like energetic kind of cleanses and things like that, it can really open us up to new possibilities, new opportunities. And so having a really supportive stone so it can kind of help direct you, support you, and guide you as you flush out any of this energy stagnant and no longer needed it can help you sort of fill up your mind, your emotions, your whole body, physical and energetic, with that new fresh energy and really help guide you into your new life. So we're going to use this stone as a sort of foundation stone. We have the beautiful cleansing of our selenite wands and I have the selenite tower right here just to kind of support this session and provide this really beautiful energy throughout the session. But then we also have the Kambaba just to help with that transformation. Because we're doing this kind of cellular transformation. This deeper kind of Healing, flushing it out, making way for something new, okay? Good, 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 good. Let's light our candle and we'll set our intention for this session. of our candle, preserving that intention that we've set, and we will do a bit of cleansing. Just releasing anything that's available to be released here. Just releasing anything that's come up, anything that's held from the day or the night.
Now I'd like for you to close your eyes if you're open to it. And we're going to slowly relax the muscles in your body. And invite some gratitude here. So you can feel free to place your hands in gasha. Prayer hands at the heart space if that's comfortable for you. Or you can simply place your hands over your heart. A very warm, kind of embracing gesture. Or just keep your hands by your side. Whatever feels right. If you have your hands in gasha, focus your attention on the place where your middle fingers meet. And we're going to begin by repeating the Reiki precepts. You can allow these to simply wash over you, or you can repeat them with me. To yourself or aloud. Just for today, I will not anger. Let the words wash over you. Let the words wash over you. for today. I will not worry. Focusing on that point between your, where your middle fingers meet. If you get distracted or feel lost, then just return to that place. Just for today, I will be honest. I will live and work honestly. This precept is all about integrity. Your words match, match your actions and your head actions match your words. If I can get my words out. <laughs> Just for today, I will be grateful. Just for today, I will be kind. Kind to myself and kind to all living beings. Let's return briefly to our fourth Reiki precept just for today. I will be grateful. I really want you to connect with gratitude here. I want you to choose something for which you are enormously grateful. Something in your life. Your health, your vitality, your loved one's health or vitality. And just really give over to that. Allow yourself to fully feel into that gratitude. And you might even keep your hands at your heart space or maybe in Gasha. Or you could just allow this gratitude to fill you up. Allow it begin by sort of hovering in the mental plane. And then imagine as you continue to fill your mind with this gratitude slowly kind of cascades outward. It's like a domino effect. The more you think about it, the more it moves outward, a ripple, kind of undulating outward, slowly filling your entire being from your crown all the way down to your toes. Okay. <laughs> 
space now we will call in the energy of the universe we are cleared and cleansed we are filled with gratitude perhaps we're filling with gratitude and now we will begin our reiki shower So imagine the light in the cosmos, the galaxies, the stars, sun, moon, comets, all of the light of the cosmos. See if you can connect an image. We're really channeling this visualization here. Whatever feels right, just the energy of the cosmos. Now I will open your crown and we will allow this energy to funnel in, flooding your body with this beautiful column of light. beautiful channel The energy of the universe floods down on you, filling you up with beautiful, glimmering light. Now going to come around behind you and place my hands on your crown and on your third eye. And I will cut my hands over you and just allow the Reiki to wash over you, okay? Beautiful. 
Okay, so now I'm going to place my hands above your crown and allow this energy to swirl in, placing all the energy of the universe. through your entire body, letting it fill you up, healing, clearing, and cleansing. Placing my hands on the crown of your head. Now placing my hands on your third eye, filling you up with beautiful, glimmering light. Bring my hands outside of your crown to just call in that light now. Calling in that light. And now placing my hands over your eyes, filling you. with radiant, glimmering light. And now, we will seal in all of this beautiful energy inviting in the integration of this gorgeous shower All the nicks and crannies helping you feel restored and fully balanced. We're going to use this owl rattle. Starting at your crown, drawing that energy in and moving all the way down. Moving all the way down. Crown to toes. Crown to toes. Okay.
You are divine. You are connected. You are expressive. You are loved. You are strong. You are creative and emotionally balanced. You are safe. You are safe. Breathe in light. Breathe out darkness. Inhale light. Exhale darkness. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you so much love and support. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day or your night. Whatever it is that you're doing, I hope you feel light and uplifted. Your energy feels wonderful. So I hope you, you feel that and it resonates with you. If you would like to work with me, I'll leave all of that linked below. There is a limited number. So if you would like to work with me, you might want to jump on that. But that starts on March 8th. All right. Sending you so much love and support. And until we meet again, be so well. Namaste.